all of the sports come on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. To this entertaining, interesting, mind boggling, frustrating, exciting sports talk. Can I do that? Because I know you don't say none of that. None of that. <laughs> but it's interesting to hear it, though. <laughs> but anyway, like I was saying before uh, before I left, before break, the trial Jamison, I guess that's the guy you're hitting at. Um, I'm not sure if he's... Actually, a few guys, man. Well, you got Moore, too, and who else you after got, that? Well, Kareem, you got Kareem, uh, Kareem Moore. Uh, there's Lyndon Stevens. That's a possibility. And you know, I like him. And then, of course, a lot of people sent, told me in the comment section, and, hey, guys, I'm listening to y'all, not to sleep on P.J. Williams. You know, I, so... Well, I've been telling you that. They've been listening to me. Well, you know, I have to listen to them, bro. Every okay, now and yeah. then, you know. We and do have some. Well. We got some and smart. We got, got some, some real smart man. Saints fans out there, yeah, man. We do real good ones, bro. But what you was finish your commentary on that? Well, my, my my thing, <laughs> I didn't even touch him yet. But my thing is, um, the Saints. When you look at cornerback, I don't think we like to necessarily play a lot of rookies. Like I know that don't make sense because of what happened last year, but we had some very rare rookies. But we usually like to have people out there with experience, and a lot of times, if they have some time where we can sit them and and kind of work them in, we do. And cornerback, outside of quarterback, is the hardest position to learn. I mean, Michael Lattimore made that look like uh, that's a lie, but <laughs> that ain't gonna work for yeah, everybody, he's a natural, you know? Yeah. yeah so, uh, Natrell Jamison, uh, Lyndon Stevens, um, I, Moore. I remember his first Kareem name, Moore. Kareem Moore. Um, these guys, I mean, we you can't know, expect right. them to come in and just take the mantle away from Ken Crawley. He made mistakes, uh, probably one of the most penalized cornerbacks last year, but he didn't give up a lot of big plays. He was actually the number one cornerback inside the 20-yard line in the red zone last year. Nobody don't know that. you know. So he, he's a pretty good cornerback. I wouldn't say he's great. Um, obviously, you're going to always look to improve when you got a guy like Michonne Lattimore. But um, Ken Crawley is a pretty good stopgap, I think, now. And he also can improve. I mean, he's only this is only his third year. It's a lot there, DC. It's a lot there from the OTAs, man. We appreciate you breaking down the OTAs like that, man. How, how you pimp me and uh, breaking down the OTAs and giving a whole Ken Crawley segment? Well, come here, Ken Crawley was in the OTAs. <laughs> he ain't said nothing about him in the OTAs. No, no news I read. Which I guess if you're a cornerback, that might be a good thing. Right. You know he don't get interceptions. So. Right. Well, I mean, it's, it's the news. I didn't hear no 40-yard so. bomb uh, going on him. Uh, probably, uh, I'm sure Michael Thomas probably got it for one. <laughs> right. But we'll give it some time. Maybe, you know, down the line you might actually see that. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we look at a lot of the stuff that's going on uh, with the Saints and OTAs, man, and a lot of good news coming out. But the number one good story of it, of the day, is the fact that nobody – was injured during the OTAs, and that's the number one thing. They because, better not name <clears throat> each other. Right. You know, anybody <laughs> didn't get hurt, they made it out clean. Now, if and you get hurt in the OTAs, important. it was already coming. <laughs> it's like two hand touch. So, but let's move on to our next topic that DC appreciate you for delivering that OTAs. Let's get into the next topic, which is AJ Klein, a potential trade. Now, according to CBS Sports, it was a story that broke in the A lot of you Saints uh, uh, fans heard about. This story that was done uh, by CBS, uh, which said that they listed him as a potential. A.J. Klein, <clears throat> former Carolina Panther back, is listed as a potential potential trade candidate uh, for June 1st. The June 1st trade candidates, uh, you know, about the June 1st cuts and all this kind of stuff. Now, of course, you know, Klein is in the top 10, of course, with the salary uh, uh with the Saints, and he makes a lot of money for what the Saints are paying him. Like, we had this discussion last show when we talked about what P. Rob is making, what uh, Coleman is making, and relative what their roles are going to be. This is a one that I guess this is something similar to what this gentleman is trying to throw up here. We got to uh, get a name for Kurt, man, because every time you say Coleman, I think about Brandon. No, the, the, the Coleman that's actually going to count. <laughs> 
Brandon the had real a, Coleman. Brandon had a lot of good blocks, blocks last year, man. They're going to start referring to Brandon Coleman as Gary Coleman. Because the real Coleman. He's too the tall to be Gary Coleman. You know, like six, six. His, his, so it's his role. His role <laughs> is going to be as small as Gary. Anyway, I'm just a bad joke. But anyway, let's get into BC. some of this. Uh, <laughs> this article by uh, CBS Sports mentions the fact that they believe, they believe, and this is interesting. We're reporting it because, you know, I, I've i never considered A.J. Klein. I like A.J. Klein. I think he's a, he'll benefit this team. My my uh, partner, Crime, might differ in that opinion and shame <laughs> on him if he does. But the <laughs> June 1st the June first trade candidates is listed in his report. Uh, has, they link A.J. Klein uh, potentially with the Bills, uh, you know, needing a, a, a linebacker. And they're saying, let's read some of this here, DC. It says, Saints have depth at, depth at the position, and Klein's contract makes him an attractive trade target for a linebacker and needed teams. Like, say, the Bills. The Saints have just uh, $6.3 million in cap for this year, which is ranked 27. And Klein is entering the second year of a four-year contract worth $24 million. That includes a, a $4.1 million base. And the post-June 1st trade will leave $1 million in dead money this year and add two million in twenty nineteen as well as a four point two million uh dollar cap savings. That's a big amount of money spread in, uh, that the Saints will gain back instantaneously if they was to pull the move and they could spread out the rest of the money over the next two years. Interesting thought process nonetheless. It also speculates that there's no guarantee the Saints will look to move Klein, which I'm in agreement with. That make no sense to do that. Uh, but New Orleans did sign Demario Davis, but Davis is already pitted as a middle linebacker. Uh, the, the the word on the street is AJ Klein is set to rock at the strong side, and Alzalone at the weak side. So that's no secret there. But uh, outside of that, they said if Klein cannot win an outside linebacker job, and I don't see why he wouldn't, then they could look to move him and find a potential trade partner with Buffalo. Now this is specifically. A, uh, a, uh, I guess it's one of these reports where they're just coming out the woodwork trying to drum up something. But to pick AJ Klein of all people to try to trade rumors, that to me is really odd. You know, that's really strange. But what's your take on what you think about the story uh, with AJ uh, Klein and the, the potential trade with the Bills? I don't think nothing Obviously, nothing. I got to disagree with you. Um, I, I don't think it's particularly odd. I think it's a person having an open mind and actually looking at our roster. Um, we have like four middle linebackers, dude. AJ Klein is supposed to be a middle linebacker. I think that's where we mess up with him. Klein can play either position, though. Yeah, he can, but he's not really good at either position. Um, that's not true. Okay, put the tape on. Klein is you very got, smart. Got AJ Klein hater in the building, yo. I'm not an AJ Klein hater. I'm gonna I'm stay the truth. I actually like AJ Klein. He's I, not good at either position. Is that what you just said? I don't. When I think of good, I put him as average. When I think of good, you that's that tier before great. So he you know he not So AJ good. Klein is not good, but Ken Crawl is? Ken Crawl is a little bit above average. I I, I said, is he good? He good. And AJ Klein is not good? Nope. <laughs> Did you hear that fan? Nope. You know, uh, same okay. family. Let me I tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. That all the client lovers. Man, nobody ain't basing no turkey, man. What you talking about? Come but let me, let me, let me, let me explain. Um, AJ Klein is very good at getting, getting in on plays, being around the ball. But when you're talking about covering running backs out of the backfield, which if you put him at an outside linebacker position, he has to do. I think he can be real good at uh, occasionally blitzing and doing things like that too. He's very good at uh, getting people lined up. He's an intelligent player. I would like him on my team. But for what are we giving him? We have a $17 million contract, or was it $12 million? You got that, and then you got your starting linebacker uh, who's going to beat Demario Davis. There's no competition. He's going to win that out, making a $24 million contract. And then you got, in my opinion, uh, Matt Titeo, who – be just as good as AJ Klein, not making very much money at all. And you got Craig Robinson, who's damn good as a standing middle linebacker or outside linebacker. Shit, we could start Craig Robinson on the outside, and I think we would be fine. Uh, Klein is not going to be be able to cover the you know, well routes from a real quick linebacker, like let's say a Devontae Freeman or uh, Delvin Cook. Ain't going to happen, player. Um, 
that's why I say that about him. The old football as we know it, maybe five years ago, I think Klein would be a perfect linebacker, honestly. But with so much coming out of the pass coverage and him not being able to keep up with the, the scat back that you're going to see coming out of the backfield, I don't think it's a way far off to say maybe he don't win that outside linebacker job. Okay, fair enough. And if that's the case, if he can't win that job, then, yeah, I, I could see the trade talk uh, coming about and being possible. Exactly. But if he wins the outside linebacker job, we should keep him. Um, if he can perform, we should go ahead and, and let him handle his business because he is a he is a good, a, a pretty decent line. Okay, he's not he's not good, but he's pretty decent. But Ken Crawl is good. I got that. <laughs> you, I'm hating on AJ Klein. You hating on Ken Crawley. I am not just hating on Ken Crawley. Let's not call it what it is and move I've, on. I've called let's Ken let's let's, let's is, move on. Is, let's is, just move is, on. He's a solid cornerback. That's what I'm AJ saying. AJ Klein is a solid linebacker. You're using my words. <laughs> okay, well, that's that. Uh, we'll just move on with AJ Klein. Move. Let's go. Wait, to the AJ next. Klein good? AJ by Klein, my definition, he's good. So he's one tier away from being great. I ain't gonna say one tear away. I say by my definition of good. Uh, who knows what your definition of good <laughs> I just is. told you what it was. <laughs> the level under great. No. no All right, well, what you good. getting on me for? He's good. No, by my definition. Your definitions are weird. <laughs> okay, let's go to the <laughs> let's go to the next uh topic. Yeah. Let's talk about the DC, let's talk about the You know in school you got an A, then you got a B, then you got a C, right? So A with so you, a would be great. The, so we're going to the school. A B grades. would be good. Okay. A C would be average. So you asking me what in the letter grade what AJ <laughs> Klein is? Yeah. Okay. What AJ Klein to me, I would have to give AJ Klein a B minus. Oh, <gasps> I'm appalled. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, B minus. Yeah, B minus. C. Well, you know what? C, I say a C, C plus. plus B minus right no, now. No. C yeah, plus. Yeah, C plus B minus. C plus. No doubt about it. What, what's Alex Anzalone to you? Alex Anzalone is is a solid B. Okay, so AJ Klein is not a Hell B minus. No. no, man. No, you you, you disrespect AJ. Anzalone, and if you took if you took AJ Klein's brain and you put it in Anzalone's body, then we would have a Pro Bowl linebacker. You would have you would have the guy from Green Bay. You have uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy with all the hair. Might be better than Clay Matthews. That's be who you would have. Him. You have a younger, faster Clay Matthews. Clay Matthews is great at, at rushing the passer, but when once they put him in a position where he got to do everything. You take A.J. Klein's uh, brain and put it in Alex Anzalone's body, you would have a faster Clay Matthews. He would, he would be, yeah, he would be, it would be better than Clay Matthews. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's move on to that. Y'all chime in. Uh, also, always, we always talk about interaction, people. We love interaction. You hear what DC saying? Y'all hear what Big Q saying too? Don't yeah, like, obviously, hey, you y'all are obviously appalled and shaking y'all heads right I'm now about you. what DC just said. Yeah, Paul, that you actually disrespect for King Crow. Please, please comment in the comment section <laughs> if you agree with me, obviously, or if you agree with DC. So you know that that's we always like that. We love to see those comments. But anyway, let's get to our next comment uh, topic, DC, before we hit the break. Uh, uh, talking about the, the NFL's new crown of the helmet rule that they put up. Now, of course, they did this uh, some time ago. You got to play the Dennis Green clip. Man, <laughs> <laughs> man it's crazy. But uh, that it, you know, the end of the crown, it, it, it's it's they calling it an infraction, which can ultimately eat, lead to an ejection. Now, here's the three primary uh, things that will lead to a player being ejected under this helmet rule. Now, of course, they say the player lowers his helmet to establish a linear body posture posture prior to initiating and making contact with the helmet. A uh, player delivering a low blow had an obstru- unobstructed path to his opponent. Contact was clearly avoid- avoidable. Player delivering a blow had other options. Not every penalty will result in ejection. A flag more often than not will result in a 15-yard penalty. That's huge. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down in many cases. It is uh, and they add an ejection to the to the hitting of the, using the, the crown of the helmet, which has always been something that they've been uh, adamant about eliminating out of the game. Now, DC, we obviously know uh, about this rule because 
we've been dealing with this for a while. So the reality of the situation at the end is, I'm asking you, what is your thoughts on this crown of the helmet rule? And this and it's, it's, it's these rule changes that they're doing, not just this rule that they're changing. Because actually, you know, you can think about it and you can kind of argue about it. But the rest of these rules, are they are they turning turning the NFL, which is a brutal sport, a savage sport, as a gladiator sport, into some some cream puff type stuff, some soft uh, flowery stuff? You can't soften up football. Football is a violent sport. If you don't like it, turn your damn TV off. Okay, so we're gonna talk about some other stuff on the side of the break. We'll give you our look at the lookout segment, and we're gonna finish up on this. Uh, soft NFL uh, issue as well. The powder Listen, puff, the powder puff, powder puff league. Uh, we're gonna uh, when we come back on the other side of the break. Listen no to sports coma. Forget ESPN Fox. Guys. Get straight sports talk from the sports coma with Big Q and the guys. <laughs> 